more people than ever are turning to medications to help with weight loss. Metformin and Ozempic are two of the most commonly prescribed options, but they work in completely different ways. If you're trying to decide between them, you might be wondering, which one is actually better? Previously, we discussed how metformin helps with weight loss. Today, we're comparing metformin and Ozempic side by side, how they work, which one leads to more weight loss, and who should take which. Plus, can they be used together? I'm a licensed pharmacist, and you are watching Pharmacist Online. I make health information simple and easy to understand. If that sounds helpful, subscribe for more expert health advice. Metformin and Ozempic both help with weight management, but they affect the body in very different ways. Metformin is an oral medication that improves how your body responds to insulin. In people with insulin resistance, the body produces more insulin than it needs. And over time, this can lead to increased fat storage, particularly around the midsection. By lowering insulin resistance, metformin helps the body use sugar more efficiently and may reduce fat buildup. It also slightly suppresses appetite and alters gut bacteria, which can further support weight loss. That said, weight loss with metformin is usually gradual, typically around 5 to 10 pounds over several months. Ozempic, on the other hand, is an injectable medication that mimics a natural hormone called GLP-1. This hormone signals the brain to reduce hunger and slows digestion, so food stays in the stomach longer. As a result, people feel full for much longer and naturally eat less. Ozempic also helps regulate blood sugar, which can further support fat loss. Because it directly suppresses appetite, Ozempic typically leads to more significant weight loss, often around 15 to 20% of body weight over a year. If we look at clinical studies, Ozempic is far more effective for weight loss than metformin. People taking metformin typically lose about 5 to 10 pounds, while those on Ozempic often lose 30, 40, or even 50 pounds over time. If the goal is rapid and significant weight loss, Ozempic is the better choice. However, weight loss isn't the only factor to consider. Side effects are also important. Metformin is generally well tolerated, but it can cause nausea, bloating, and diarrhea, especially when first starting. Long-term use may also lead to vitamin B12 deficiency, which can cause fatigue and nerve issues. Ozempic, on the other hand, has stronger appetite-suppressing effects, but it also comes with stronger side effects. Many people experience severe nausea, vomiting, and constipation in the first few weeks. There is also a rare risk of thyroid tumors, which is why it's not recommended for people with a history of thyroid cancer. So, which one is right for you? Metformin may be a better choice if you have insulin resistance, prediabetes, or PCOS if you want mild weight loss with fewer side effects, or if you prefer an oral medication instead of an injection. Ozempic may be a better choice if you need to lose a significant amount of weight, if you struggle with overeating and cravings, or if you don't mind weekly injections. Many doctors prescribe both medications together, especially for people with type 2 diabetes or insulin resistance. Since they work in different ways, combining them may enhance weight loss results. However, always check with your doctor before taking both. If you're taking metformin for weight loss, are you using it correctly? In the next video, we'll cover the best time to take metformin and how timing can affect its effectiveness. Click here to watch and subscribe for more pharmacist-approved health advice.